you intend ah uh, any f I've learned with it it the and so you're using the mask for peace and not for control yes truthfully Wayne the mask is a means to an end we all want a peaceful new era all right I'll help you I knew you would understand Wayne how can you say that can't you see he's mad with power People living in a world controlled by the mask cannot be considered anything more than puppets. Without free will, there is no life, only existence. But is that worse than a world where people shed blood over the smallest imagined transgressions? I will not be party to your madness, Wayne. If you stand now against us, so be it. You must reconsider. The civilization that made that mask already failed long ago. This time will be different. I trust Max. Yes, if we don't give up, we can create a perfect world. It's no use. He's made up his mind. The only way we're going to stop him is by force. So you are all against me now? Uh, no, not me, Chief. I'll stand at your side. You haven't led me wrong yet. Thank you, Hans. My pleasure, Chief. We will meet on the top floor. Right. You need to get that mask activated as soon as possible. Leave this to us. The new world is nearly upon us. Fight hard, Wayne. No! He got away! What do we do now? This is serious. If that device is activated, the whole world will be affected. Send the word out to the surrounding areas and have them help us. Understood. Good luck to you. Ha! You're not going anywhere!
And thus began the new world envisioned by Maximilian Schneider. The persuasive voice of the Power Mask was broadcast to the minds of those within range of the control tower, erasing their ambition and competitive spirit. As a result, conflict and hate vanished from the world. However, an unfortunate side effect was that ambition and creativity were also quelled. The inhabitants of this brave new world became like marionettes, dancing at the whim of their master, silently performing without doubt or hesitation. It seemed like the perfect world, but in reality... Patrons M0026 and F0026 step forth. You are officially wed. Cooperate and reproduce twice within three years, abiding by section CZ003. Next, patrons M0027 and F0027 step forth. You are officially wed. Cooperate and reproduce twice within three years, abiding by section CZ003. Yes. Hey, Hans. Greetings, Wayne. I received my productivity partner. Goodbye. Hey, Hans, wait! Wayne, you are preventing the start of our compliance with CZ003. Doesn't it seem strange that compliance is mandatory? That you have no choice? Strange? No. We have to reproduce and supply offspring to the National Control Center. It's how we survive, silly. And that's fine with you? It is my duty. But you've forsaken your dream of a happy family life with the woman you love. Doesn't it feel like you've lost something? You're in a very strange mood, Wayne. We all do what's best for this land. You know that. But you were paired with that... woman... because someone else decided for you. The planning is necessary to achieve optimum output. Wayne, you need to get some rest and we have to go. Goodbye. Hans... You've given up everything you lived for. Max! Ah, Wayne, you've returned just in time. We've discovered the coordinates of the resistance squadron blocking the transmission waves. Unfortunately, we have limited troop strength there. Will you assist in the operation? Of course. 